in this video i'm going to talk about the intuitive method of circuit analysis this is the most simplest way to simplify the resistive networks to calculate the value of voltages and currents intuitive method of circuit analysis this is nothing but a series and parallel simplification of a network the first move is to collapse a set of resistances into a single equivalent resistance that means if we have a number of resistors in our circuit we can merge by using whether they are in series or in parallel with each other so as to calculate the value of equivalent resistance then found the value of current into the equivalent resistance now we need to calculate the value of current flowing into the equivalent resistance that will be the value of current flowing in our circuit and once we have calculated the value of current flowing in our circuit we can easily calculate the specific voltages of interest or the current by expanding the value of our resistances let us talk about the same with the help of an example let us assume this figure a is given to us in which we have the total voltage v r1 r2 r3 and r4 these are the four resistors connected with us the respective voltages are v1 v2 v3 and v4 whereas the respective currents are i1 i2 i3 and i4 i0 is the value of current flowing in our circuit which is the total amount of current now as we can easily see over here r3 and r4 both are connected in series with each other because only one terminal is connected with each other whereas the other terminal is connected to something else that means the other terminal of r3 is connected with r2 similarly the other terminal of connect uh, r4 is connected with r2 but not with the each other that means series connection so that means it comes out to be r3 plus r4 now just see this terminal is directly connected with r2 this terminal is directly connected with r2 that means both are in parallel with each other so the equivalent resistance comes out to be r2 into r3 plus r4 divided by r2 plus r3 plus r4 and finally r1 and this value of resistor is in series with each other so it will be an addition now the first step was to calculate the equivalent resistance that we have calculated what will be the value of voltage v0 across r this equivalent resistance nothing but capital v and what will be the value of current i1 flowing through this equivalent resistance is opposite to i0 so in the actual numericals all these values will be given voltages resistors so as we can easily calculate the unavailable variables so you can see it over here i1 with the help of ohm's law i is equal to v by r v3 is i3 r3 v4 is i3 into r4 you can see it over here why v4 is equal to i3 plus c the same current is going to flow here i3 is equal to i4 because there is no other branch which is connected over here so in the same manner we can easily calculate all the unknown variables let us talk about this example to calculate the equivalent resistor of this network and each resistor is given as 1 kilo ohm first of all let us assume this portion all these three resistors are connected in parallel with each other so this is 1 by 1 plus 1 by 1 plus 1 by 1 is equal to 1 by r1 let us assume this is r1 so r1 comes out to be 1 by 3 this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 so let us assume r2 is comes out to be 1 by 6 and this is r3 so three values are there so it comes out to be 1 by 3 now 
this equivalent resistor is in series with this equivalent resistor is in series with this equivalent resistor that is r1 is in series with r2 is in series with r3 that is 1 by 3 plus 1 by 6 plus 1 by 3 so the answer comes out to be 5 by 6 kilo ohms 